Hey guys! Welcome back to Best Scene. In this video, we will be watching the movie called It's a Boy Girl Thing. So, let us get started. Woody Dean and Nell Bedworth are neighbors and former childhood friends who go to the same high school, but are otherwise completely different. Woody is a popular varsity football player, while Nell is a girl who loves literature but lacks social skills. They loathe each other and are constantly in dispute. One day their class goes on a school trip to a museum and they are forced to work together on an assignment. They quickly begin arguing in front of a statue of the ancient Aztec god Tezcatlipoca. As they argue, the statue casts a spell upon them causing them to wake up in each other's bodies the next morning. When they arrive at school, they immediately blame each other for the body swap, but agree to pretend to be the other person until they can find a way to switch back. At first, they seem to succeed, but quickly return to arguing when they each feel the other is misrepresenting them in the opposite body, such as Woody and Nell's body answering the question oddly and surprising a teacher. The following day, Nell and Woody's body arrives at school wearing kinos and an Oxford cotton button and down making Woody's appearance look dorky which frustrates Woody. And he is even more frustrated after he hears about how Nell and Woody's body failed Woody's football practice the previous day. After school, Nell, in retaliation, breaks hey, up with Brina, Woody's girlfriend, much to the disappointment of Woody. The humiliation competition continues when Woody in Nell's body dries off with a biker boy, Nikki, and makes Nell think she is going to lose her virginity. However, Woody decides it is so gay and leaves Nikki just as he is removing his clothing. The following day, rumors are being spread around school by Nikki about his night with Nell. When Nell finds out, she gets very upset. When Woody finds Nell, he admits that he didn't actually lose Nell's virginity and that everyone was simply spreading Nikki's lies. I'm sorry. After this, Nell and Woody reach a truce and realize the statue of Tezcatlipoca at the museum had something to do with their body swap. They head down to the museum and even after confronting the statue, they fail to return to their original bodies. They realize they are going to have to help each other into important upcoming events. Nell must learn how to play football for Woody's homecoming game and Woody must learn about poetry and literature for Nell's Yale interview. Later that night Nell in Woody's body is getting drunk at a party, while Woody in Nell's body is stuck at a slumber party listening to all the gossip about himself and is surrounded by nail polish, pajamas, slippers, and gets a bikini wax. After spending so much time together, Nell and Woody become very fond of each other and start to understand each other better. The night before the interview and the game, they agree to go to the homecoming dance together as not a date. The day of the interview and match, Woody goes to Yale for the interview and at first messes things up and is asked to leave. But he starts to talk about poetry in rap, which impresses and astonishes the interviewer. After that, he goes to the football game and watches Nell run in the winning touchdown in the closing seconds. A college recruiter witnesses his good performance and wants to talk to him later. After the game, they congratulate each other for their successes. Shortly after this, the spell lifts and they return to their original bodies. The scene finishes with Woody being kissed by Brina and now going home very upset about it. The following day, Woody tries to talk to Nell, but is stopped by her mother, who sees Woody's family as uneducated. Nell receives an acceptance letter from Yell, meaning that her interview done by Woody and her body was successful. However, she is still upset with Woody and decides not to go to the homecoming dance. Meanwhile, Nell's father has a talk with her on the porch about Woody, during which she confesses she truly likes him, and her father surprises her with a dress and shoes for the dance. Thank you, Ms. Bittermeyer. Principal Johnson. Woody and Brina are selected as the homecoming king and queen. As the homecoming king and queen prepare to dance, 
and upset Woody sees Nell and both confess their love for each other. They leave the school together and share a kiss in front of their houses. The following day, Nell tells her mother that she is taking a year's sabbatical before attending Yale and hops into Woody's car as they drive off together. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and comment if you like this video.